Now, Biggie has twin nieces, if you don't know. What's the age? Five? Yep. They're okay. about to be six in a few months. All right. Five years old, mm. living in uh, Greenville, South Carolina now, his sister's kids, and you just said to us... Your brother-in-law did something that old-school parents, boomer parents, Mm -hmm. would love. Absolutely. And what did he do? He washed one of their mouths out with soap. Mm -hmm. That's old-school, isn't it? We Mm -hmm. have the the Christmas story clip. Over the years, I got to be quite a connoisseur of soap. My personal preference is for Lux, but I found palm olive had a nice piquant after-dinner flavor. Heady, but with just a touch of mellow smoothness. Life boy, on the other hand, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. What do you use? What do you use? What kind you of... know, I meant to ask. I didn't ask. Did he even well, have a bar? Most, most people don't have bars. Is it like, did, he, did he wash I... your mouth out with body wash? No. <laughs> a soft soap, a spritz. <laughs> I believe they had a method. Uh, hand soap. <laughs> way more dangerous. Uh, yeah, that is more dangerous. I'm yeah. assuming a Dove hand soap. They must have. have that they have on a dish. I just read that uh, COVID basically drove the hand soap business out of business. You know that it's all everybody just has the pump mm. now. Uh, because yeah. nobody wanted to use it, so but they mm-hmm. had it. They had Dove yeah. uh, hand soap. Mm-hmm. Wow, it's not as much in the store. The, 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 Is that right? The bar soap. I buy it though. Yeah, I buy Dial and, and yeah. uh, Ivory. You, you like it better than a body wash? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, I'm bar soap. You know me. I like bar soap. Yeah, yeah. All bar you soap are, all day. That's all yours. Bar soap. No, no even washcloth. Don't need it. It lathers up real nice. Yeah, he don't need it. He's his hands and his soap. Yeah. That's all he has. I have two, some backup. Ca- caveman in there. You know? Squirt soap. He I love the bar. Yeah, so anyway, so how did they how did it happen? How what was the reaction to it? That is old school. That's very old school. In fact, um my mother, who has been living with them, mm-hmm. uh had to leave. She has her own place now. Mm-hmm. And uh she was so upset she had to leave. Really? Yeah. It's like she just couldn't be a part of it. Which she's normally She's old school. She's old school. She's a disciplinarian, mm-hmm. but uh that it, it, it had been coming for a little while apparently that mm-hmm. um they were my nieces were really misbehaving on vacation they just got back from vacation talking back talking and... back not listening to them you know it's time to leave the beach no mm-hmm. you know trying to run stuff that i mean this basically just copying attitudes yeah and the other night apparently my sister said it's time to stop drawing's bedtime mm-hmm. and my one niece said no i'm going to keep drawing just throwing it right just back. throwing just it right ch- back. Challenging yeah. those boundaries. Yep. Right. And my sister said, no, it's time to go. And she, my niece just started apparently just yelling mm-hmm. and was like, no, I don't love you. I hate you. Ooh. And my brother-in-law was in the other room and apparently just quietly walked in and just looked at my niece and said, come with me. And did the washing. And up. took her in. And, she, and he was up there with her. And she was, oh, she was crying, of course, saying, I'm going to taste this forever. And he said, mm-hmm. look, he said, we don't say those things in this family. Mm-hmm. He said, your mommy works very hard every day. Mm-hmm. You treat her with respect. And that's all there is to it. Then- and my other niece apparently was in her, in their, they share a room, in a room with the covers over her head just going, mm-hmm. I don't want any part of this. Shocked by it. Yeah. And- but um, what's shock, you know, because I love my brother-in-law, but we've never seen this side of him. Right. He's usually uh, pretty no, yeah. passive on those things. Well, he he admits, he said, I he grew up having to go get a switch outside. I basically. got a switch. I used to have to get a switch. Mm. Mm. Dave, we grew up the same, right? You ever get a switch? I got the belt once, and that was about it. Yeah, I had the belt a couple of times too. Mm-hmm. I had the I had the wooden spoon. My mother would get out the wooden mm-hmm. spoon. Yeah, any bunch liked a hairbrush. Hair, my mother yeah. got the hairbrush. Hard plastic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, but a lot of times they would just be the threat of it, and then I would hop to. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. rarely did I get hit, mm-hmm. but they would say the hairbrush was one. Boy, my yeah. mother would take out the hairbrush yeah. in a heartbeat. Man. My mom would grab that wooden spoon. <laughs> Just well, that look at the belt. Uh, the belt, oh, yeah. 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 Right I did, butt. Well, Sometimes it hits your thigh. But, you know, the one time I hit my son, he was young, and he did something, talk back or whatever, and I popped him on the hand, and he just looked at me like, I can't believe you did that, and I apologized to him. I was like, I'm not really sorry. Yeah. You know, uh, I, <laughs> well, I just can't do you it. You got the fire in the belly yeah. for Biggie's uh, but brother-in-law. But I can't, I can't do but it. But you would never do it. Well, no, see, that's true. See, that's just right. it. My brother-in-law said he hated it and remembers it so much. He said, I will never... Like we are a no, basically we're a no spanking family. Mm-hmm. No one is to you know spank or mm-hmm. get any belts or anything. He said it's just. He said I just have such bad memories of that growing up. I don't want to do that to my children. Mm-hmm. However, no one expected the old uh, old school soap in the mouth. My goodness, mm-hmm. yeah, I thought that was always reserved for curse words, but I, I, but, I but suppose just the talk back. It's I guess, the t- yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's what and it's they didn't cuss at all. It was right. just and my mom like she said she goes I don't even know where that came from. She was just. 
You just so, have enough of it after yeah. a while. Well, she meant that my niece, that it, that it, yeah. that it just came out. But I'll, oh, yeah. they talked, they're just talking about it still like, you know, we, we're we sorry. Yeah. That won't happen again. Well, you know, when you are mild mannered and you don't do much, I think that's why my children fear me more than my wife, because she's the disciplinarian, no doubt. She's always angry. She's always on watch. <laughs> Well, we don't say she's always angry. Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes she has her Chardonnays. Well, a lot of times... <laughs> uh, depressants. She'll yell at them a lot. You know, a lot. Yeah, it's angry. And I just sit back most of the time, you know, and don't... Anger with love. Yes, but it's become... She yells so much, I think it just becomes, you know, white noise. They're like, okay, and they move on by. Like Sergeant Carter on right. Gunner Pile. Right, right. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Yes. There's a dating game reference. Yeah. Sergeant Carter and Governor Pop. <laughs> I can't hear you. He's always yelling. <laughs> right. He's always yelling. But when I yell, because I never do, it's like, oh. I mean, they're scared to tell me things. Yeah. Or to let me know with her. And she always says to me, why do they fear you? You're the pushover. And I said, yeah, but it's because when I really get mad, it's the it's it's you know real anger. You get mad so much, it's like they they're used to it. Do you think they hate disappointing one of you more than the other? Um, I'm not mm. sure. Or upsetting uh, one of you more than the I, other. It seems like they're they 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 fear upsetting me. Yeah, they don't want to. Yes, upset mother's me. always in the upset mood. That's, I think that's why I tell mm. her. I say, you know, if you would kind of reserve your yelling, because she well, does she, that go over? What, yeah, what did she say? Well, yeah. she goes zero. She go get a switch. She, she just you goes, get a bar of soap in your mouth. <laughs> 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 well, she goes zero to a hundred yeah. over anything, whereas you know, a, just a, a a kind of a jokey, uh, you know, nice job on that or something would be better. So, because around here in the workplace, mm. you stew mm. and you you yeah. you let things just yeah. happen, come to a simmer, and then you boil and then you explode like, like a volcano. Is it the same at the house, yeah. or is it a different scale? It's more of the same, and I think they're afraid that I'll boil, and when I do go mm -hmm. overboard, man, that. Yeah. So on the very few times I've done it, they remember it. It's like your brother-in-law. They're going to remember that because he usually doesn't yeah. do stuff like that. Uh, Douglas, you're talking about spanking or washing mouths out with soap. Go ahead. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm 61 and grew up in a family of six kids, army brats, and my mom grew up in a Catholic orphanage. Mm -hmm. So corporal punishment was the, you know, thing of the day. If you sent out of the line even a hair, you know, it was a butt beating. And, uh, you know, when my kid, my son's 36 now, and I was not afraid to pop him on the butt mm -hmm. if he got out of line. You know, so I think that a lot of kids today are coddled when you see the attitudes of some of them. But well, a lot of people think that. I mean, a lot mm -hmm. of and, and very few do the spanking these days mm -hmm. compared to the past for sure. And you're in the age where, yeah, you would have done it. So that's what Biggie's saying. You know, that's, that's what, what I mean. Yeah. Anymore. I mean, my yeah. brother in law pulled a move that, you know, <laughs> shock for new parents would be what? Hor what? horrified. I'm sure, mm -hmm. I'm sure if my sister heard I was talking about this, mm -hmm. she'd be so embarrassed. Oh, you think? Yeah. Because I, I think my brother in law would be like, yeah, absolutely. Remember, but remember that woman uh, who played Blair on uh, The Facts of Life, Lisa Welchel? She, about probably 15 or 20 years ago, she put hot sauce on her kid's tongue because her kid said something mm -hmm. wrong. And that stirred up a, a firestorm. You know, it was like, is this okay? And she defended it. I never had a problem with that. You nah. know, it, it, did you? Nah, uh, hot I never sauce? Had a can't remember how old the kid was. Yeah, not a, she didn't put Young. the whole. No, just in a dab. She's like a dab. A couple of yeah, a couple drops, of drops. To, to to sting her tongue. Yeah, now swallow it. <laughs> was it? Or was the child quite young? I can't recall. I mean, I, I remember think she was basically. like five or six. Okay. I think. I, I think. I can't recall. Kind of like age. Biggie's nieces under age. under ten. Mm -hmm. You have a problem with the washing the mouth out with soap? Um, that was never one of my things. I always thought it was kind of you know mm -hmm. you you might have to deal with it later because the kid's going to throw up and get sick, and then you have to deal with that. Yeah, so I, I, like, don't, I don't. Eh, I never have had a problem. I, I never had to yeah. do it, but uh, I, I have not. It. I don't have a problem with his brother in law doing that. Yeah, uh, usually a good yelling at would take care of that. You didn't have to go wash. Your well, mouth out. but but. Um, yeah, if you but you really have to or pop on the butt, just stuff. Well, there's that too. Patrick, you're talking about having the mouth washed out with soap. Go ahead. Hey, good morning. Um, yeah, I'm 35 right now, and when I was in, I believe I was in kindergarten. I said the f word when I got home, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. kindergarten first grade, I said the f word. Mom, well, she grabbed the Irish Springs. I vividly remember tasting it, mm -hmm. and she put it in my mouth and raked it across the bottom of my teeth, so it stayed there for a bit. And um, so that was burned into my memory so bad, third, fourth grade, 
I came home, flipping up the middle finger, walking around doing that. She goes, Patrick, like all calm and collect. She goes, remember when, remember the soap? It means the same exact thing. And I buttoned it up for at least two, three more years. There wasn't another feedback. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a statute of limitations. Then you, then you start cussing when you're in like the seventh or eighth grade. Yeah. Patrick, do you get PTSD when you walk past the Irish Spring display at the store? <laughs> a, a, little, a little twitch. <laughs> yeah. It's stuck. It's, it's manly, yes. But I like it. Yeah. Like it too. yeah. And uh, <laughs> was it a nasty taste, the Irish Spring? Oh, my Lord. I, I can still kind of remember it. It was. Yeah, I mean the fact that I got on the backside of my teeth on the bottom, man, it was it was not good. Well, she did so, right. I remember it. Yeah. That is thorough. Would you ever do it to your kids in this day and age? I mean, yeah, if I had kids, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, uh, because it, I mean, it does work, I guess, and it's not gonna kill you. No. Thanks, Patrick. But it will make it. you sick. Mm, it could make you could, sick. Could possibly, I suppose. Love all those brands in that Christmas story. I mean, they're all gone. Lux and uh, Life, Life Boy and Paul. You're right. Yeah, they, they don't make them anymore. What was the one that was? Ugh, was that Lux? That, Life Boy. Life, Life, Life Boy. Boy. My dad used to buy Life Boy. A yeah, that was lot. for a man. Mm-hmm. That and, and lava. lava. That, that was mm-hmm. for cleaning oil and grease off. Yeah, when, cleaned your hands. when my dad was working on the car and yeah. stuff, he'd use lava, and it was gritty. You know, oh, yeah. when I would do it, we've yeah. talked about that. It's it's gritty, so no, you got to get that off of there. It's like washing your hands with oatmeal. Like or it had pumice. Yeah. It did. It did have pumice. They still have. those lava still out there? I don't, I don't remember know. seeing a lot of lava. I don't think, I don't so. think so either. God, and that was one. Now, that would clean your hands for sure. Mm-hmm. But, of course, I never work on the car. No. So why would, I never get grease on these hands. Never. He, he probably put a bar of lava mm-hmm. in your bathroom. Yeah. And it went untouched for years. It would, it would, Entire there, junior high, high school. There'd be no need for me to have yeah. lava. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he wouldn't touch it. <laughs> Amanda, you're talking about having your mouth washed out with soap. Go ahead. Hi, I'm about 35, and when I was um, like 14 or 15, mm. I don't know what I said to my mom, but it was some really bad. She got the soap that was in the shower, mm-hmm. so it was probably like an inch of it left, and that's what she made me wash my mouth out with. She told me to swallow it. I didn't. Ugh. I pretended like I did, but yeah. Ugh. So use soap. Yeah. Ooh, gross. Oh, man. The, the, the leftover disc. <laughs> Would you consider that to be good parenting? Would you ever do that yeah. to your kids? Not because no, because that no, that was terrible. Would never do that to my kids. Ugh, gross. Thank you, Amanda. Appreciate it. That does that. I mean, that does stick with you though. I mean, all you, these people remember. They this. remember it from what the one called Patrick from kindergarten. You know, he remembers yep. it. Uh, Michelle, one more quick call on it. Go ahead. Washing mouth out with soap. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. my mother's weapon of choice was ivory soap. Mm-hmm. Ivory grounded in the go- grounded in the bowlers. I did it to my kids. I see nothing wrong with it. Wow. It. Was a deterrent, but F is my still still my favorite word, unfortunately. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some lessons don't always take. I no. feel like ivory would be okay because it's so pure. 99, 44, 100%. Uh, that's, that's, pure. that's right. That's right. <laughs> I, 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 so you put it in there dry and then yeah. rake it across the teeth. The teeth. Uh, now wash your mouth And out. it sticks out. It really uh, sticks to it. It lathers up. That's right. I didn't realize the, uh, the levels of teeth raking because in, in a Christmas story, the kid just... Yep. Puts the bar in his yeah. mouth and sits there. It's like it's soaking. Yeah, it's yeah, soaking in his mouth. It's his saliva. Yeah, that's it kind bringing of marinates it. it. Yeah. And, right. and then she goes and remember uh, the mom in that movie tastes it and goes, Ugh. just you to know, lick, just to see Love the mom. what it's like. Oh, I do too. That's awesome. Wow, interesting. Uh, uh, tell yeah. us when your brother-in-law steps out like that again. That was something. Well, man. We'll see. Once every five years.